Hello everybody and welcome. Northern Hero here. You know, we get a bit um, worried and stressed sometimes about things and things can really um, get us really down. You know, my vehicle has been in a garage for quite some time and originally they told me 10 days. Five weeks they've had it. And um, they said, I went, I went to the garage yesterday to pick it up. Um, well, they never phoned me to say it was ready. Um, they just, when I got there, I said, oh, it's ready, it's here, done it. It says, um, oh, there's a fault, there's a symbol, what keeps coming on the dashboard, um, drivetrain. I said, um, that's the reason why I brought it in. Now, I've spent, now, it's going to cost a lot of money, because they said, oh, this needs doing, that needs doing, kind of thing. And yet, and now, they're taking the mic, my key wasn't working, um, the fob, you know, with the button presses. The um, airbag light was on um, the, the, the um, dashboard because I wanted to go um, for a test. So um, the boss came with me. He said, well, I don't know you from Adam, do I? Now, it has been really stressful waiting. I've lost, um, you, you know, if you can't work, you don't get any money do you so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it on my mobile and put my hand on it and and pray in the Holy Ghost because um, they seem to be lying as well you know giving me a, a date time and then um, saying um, oh they've had it for all this time you know I mean 10 days was quite enough to begin with not um, all this, all all this time, and and now she says, um, oh, it's such and such price, M a lot more than what she quoted. So I said, no, you didn't say that. She says, yes, I did. So she's a liar, and um, it says in the Bible that um, lying, um, lying lips is an abomination to the Lord, right? Lying lips. Now there is a lot of liars about even Christians, and um, you know a, lass, a Christian lass on a dating site once put really young pictures on herself to make her look a little bit better, kind of thing. And when I saw her, I got a bit of a shock because I thought, yeah, you definitely look your age. Why, why put pictures on um, on a dating site from about ten years before? doesn't make sense that is lying and not being truthful so I've just typed the garage in on on my phone um, right that's it and now Lord Jesus I pray for the holy fire to come upon my hands and Last night I had a dream that I prayed for somebody who didn't have any fingers. And I said, is it alright to pray for your condition? And as I were praying for him, I could feel my hand vibrating. My hand were only on his back or something, or his shoulder. My hand was vibrating and all of a sudden his hands, his fingers, grew back to normal. And in my dream he was so happy. And I thought, this is the real power of God that we need to see in the churches. I've got power through Christ Jesus. And I've just got the garage on here right now. So I pray, Lord God, that favour will come my way in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, and I pray favour will come in my way and they will not rip me off in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against this garage for their lying and deceptive ways of telling me that something else may be wrong with my vehicle. And I bring this garage down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for trying to get me down and... Um, we're causing stress and um, um, uh, no income as well in the name of Jesus. 
I pray, Lord God, that you will turn this situation around. I pray for all their souls, but I pray that this carriage will fall in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for ripping me off and um, not uh, and, and lying, basically. Say now saying something else could be wrong with it. You need your um, old. Oh, it could be alternator. Why this this other noise is there? In the name of Jesus, I pray that I will have favour, and they will not win the battle. It could be a curse or something through somebody else. I come against witchcraft, I come against any sort of curses in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke anything that he said to me in Jesus' name. The God of Isaac, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham. And my God will win and prevail. Because yesterday I was so stressed and down. But I have just prayed. And I, mark my words, I will win. We are in a battle, my friends. A battle. Unknowns to me, one of them might have got um, a spirit of Satan in them. And think, oh. Who knows? Um, we are in um, a battle and um, the enemy has tried to get me down. Just on my step out on my own if you get me drift just as I was working on my own then this happened and it's a barrier and a wall which has tried its best to put me down in Jesus name I come against that barrier right now I come against that barrier in Jesus mighty name and I believe that I have got power through you Lord God and I can change things like that through you Lord God through good I pray Lord God that I my van will be protected in Jesus mighty name and you will have your hand upon it I pray for angels as well to protect me wherever I go I come against evil in Jesus name liars they're not worth my time I'm gonna go back to the Bible now mm. by Northern Hero is here um, 099 Northern Hero 099 the blessed channel on YouTube <laughs>